Okay, guys. Why the tiger? Because it's pretty hype and. It's, hype. Like, it's pretty what? Hype. Did you just say hype? It's pretty hype. Well, all right. So it's pretty <laughs> hype. If, if you were going to say that in a word that someone understood, what does that mean? Pretty like. Classic? Chill and cool. <laughs> so it's neat. Yeah. Okay. So we have a neat animal. And, and it kills stuff. That's cool. Yeah. So whose idea was the tiger? Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> girls, you were just okay with it, or did you guys have other well, ideas? Well, we we trying to we wanted a tiger, and we didn't know which one to pick, and we picked the big old tiger. Which other ones were you thinking about? Well, we found like the white one, and that's what we really wanted, and we yeah. didn't know what the name. Was. First, I wanted this little thing called a kinkajou. Okay. That's what we wanted first. <laughs> I wanted that. One. The kinkajou? Yeah, he's a cool little guy. It's a um, the white tiger is a Bengal tiger. Now there is another. It's like exception. a mutation of it. Right, it's just like a weirdo. But uh, <laughs> there's one called the, the uh, Siberian white tiger that are all white, like that. And so that's a different, different thing. Okay. So tell us why is it white? Tell us about that a little bit, Tatum. Can you? Well, we're gonna think about it. I don't know. It's like every every like once in a while, they have like a weird mutation, and I guess I didn't really read read why. You guys know why? Well, like every like, like, like sometimes like they that. have their babies and stuff. And there's one oddball usually, and the white tiger is usually that oddball. Yeah, think of it like this: it's a recessive trait. So Isaac is like this. <laughs> no, 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 for real. Okay, a recessive trait. It means that it's a couple of like traits that are only expressed if you have both of them. Okay, so like Isaac, colorblind, right, Isaac? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Isaac has that weird O trait. You seriously? Yeah, he seriously is. His brother I is too. Well, I thought you that. were kidding. No, no. That's what I thought too. <laughs> um, so what happens? The reason you guys are is because it's based on the genetics of your parent. But the only time you're ever colorblind is if you have that one trait. Well, that's what happens with these guys. When you have a <laughs> white tiger. Well, you know that? Sure. Can only see. I tell them. They no, I thought he was always when kidding when he no. said that. No. <laughs> but, I mean, what I guess you're not kidding. Because your sweatshirt. brother is, too. Generally, always, it's not always, but a lot of the, the, the brothers are. What color is I'm not, like, not that bad. Like, Mr. Wilson. Let's keep going. We'll, we'll talk about Isaac later. Well, let's, and, uh, let's focus on the tiger. Most first. of the white tigers are kept in captivity. Because uh, there's, like, not a lot. Are they rare? Yes. So think about it, too. Why would a white tiger be not a very good thing to be? Because, because it's oddball and it would have... It's rare. It's just Stand not, out. There's not a lot of all other people like it. It wouldn't be able to like blend in. Okay, guys, let them do it. Let them answer. Go ahead. Since the savannah's kind of like dried up. They don't live in the savannah. They live in the rainforest. In the rainforest. They would blend in more. Yeah. The if you, orange ones. If you look at the one that's orange, it blends in with like the sunlight. You know, like shade and then it's sunny and then it's shady. Those stripes and that stuff, it all blends in together. Whereas the white one kind of stands out. So that's why it's not very. It's not a very good adaptation to have in the wild. They're cool and not in the What's what's the difference between a Bengal tiger and a regular one? Well, and Bengal what? tigers are cooler and bigger. And <laughs> then what, what was the other one you asked, Bryson? Tiger. Oh, a tiger. There's, no there's tiger. not just a regular tiger. It has to have like a name before it. Yeah, there's actually they're all different. Tiger tigers. If you go to the zoo, they have the Bengal tiger. They have the Sumatran tiger. You guys ever seen that before? Um, they have all kinds of different ones. They used, didn't they used to have a white tiger? They yeah, they used to. I don't know if they still do. Did they have like one foot? Amanda, what is that one picture in your food lab? Which one? The one that's super, There's one super skinny? There's one kind of little. That one? No. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, the the that's the big tiger. That's the big tiger. I made it too small. <laughs> yeah. What were some of the stuff that they eat, guys? Because we all, we all um, know they're carnivores, obviously. Uh, a monkey. Uh, taper. A tapir. Aww. A deer. <laughs> a deer. A squirrel monkey. And sometimes they'll eat like a baby rhino or elephant. Wait, usually, yeah. and sometimes they fight against jaguars, which they use the they use the Bengal tigers usually win because they're bigger and yeah. they eat them. Answer this, Gavin. Why would they why would they fight with the, with the jaguars? Because they both are carnivores. Very good. So they're competing directly for the same food source. You, you. Um. Oh, I can't remember. Good question. Right? You. Why did you color dye it? I don't know. I think that actually might no. be Actually, that could Other questions about the actual animal would be that would be more productive, I think. Well, I was like, like, usually, Bengal tigers, they like. They, do this, but they catch Sandra their the white prey. <laughs> <laughs> they usually catch their prey when they're drinking, or like they usually hunt in the water. 
And usually to like keep their territory to themselves, they pee a line. Mm -hmm. It's like, wow. and they stay on like the top branches of trees and then they jump down. And cool. they won't ever let any other tiger on their um, land unless it's like mating season and they need to make babies. Yep. So these are basically a solitary animal, mm -hmm. right? They live completely by themselves. They come together and they mate and then they go back by themselves. They are located in India, China, Bangladesh, and Indonesia. Mostly in India. I didn't know. Yeah. And that's the problem, too, is all those places, if you look at the map on there, right next to Kylo there, you can see it's mostly India. Well, India is one of the most populated places in the world now, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. So what's happening to a lot of tiger's habitat? They're, they're, they're getting destroyed. Right. Where is that? Yeah, aren't they almost? Manda. Hmm. It's hard to eat one with a gun. You know, the so only reason I haven't been to Tanya was what, what's that mean? What do you mean? What's running on? Under habitat, I think. Well, that's like, that got cut off. That got cut off because oh. the pages were like, and that would be like, would like, that would go with what he said. He's like fishing it. Would let the, would let the other tigers eat. On their hunting ground. Aren't these like almost extinct? Or yeah, yeah, there's like there's 1,800 left. Yeah, the, the population of wild Bengal tigers is very small. And I found that one thing. They wear masks on the back of their head. So I believe you. <laughs> oh my gosh. I believe you. Because then I the Bengal tiger see like a Connor. face and then they get scared. Well, and it's big. They usually will put it on something that sticks up. So it looks like a bigger organism. Okay. How do they kill? They, um, they chase it and then they sink their teeth into the neck and then like rip their throat out. Oh, oh that's yeah. big. Right. I saw a lot of zoos. They have so like eye in their like and they like can't see them. And they can tell the zoo, where their pulse is. And yeah. They, yeah. they actually <laughs> they actually have a Bengal tiger skull that they'll show you. Um, they have it out some. Have you seen it, Laura? They they have it out sometimes. And the teeth on those things are like it's like They're two or four three inches. inches. How much? What is it? Four inches. Yeah, I mean it's unbelievable. This one wasn't that big, but it was. I mean, four inches is like this big, but I mean they're they're probably three inches, but they're enormous. The Bengal tigers aren't as like agile as usual animals or some animals, but no. they can still climb trees very well. Cool. And the most in the poachers, they basically just go for the skin. Mm -hmm. That's really all they want. And I also read like. They like use them for like medicines, like their bones. Like they say they'll make people stronger and yeah. more healthy. The Asians is the the Asian medicine market or whatever you want to call it. They use a lot of organisms like this: grizzly bear bile, and I mean it's all kinds of stuff. And like their that. poop <coughs> puts fertilization into the ground, so then stuff comes by and it eats it. What do you guys think of poop too? Especially, when, I mean it's it's more of the herbivores. But there's organisms that actually live in the poop and eat that. You guys ever heard of like a dung beetle before? Yes. They need the poop like of elephants. Age, like where he goes, why are we carrying all this crap? <laughs> it's for my pushing mother. It. <laughs> you guys watch too much TV. <laughs> <laughs> he says that. And then so, when the tigers uh, are in packs, they're usually only <laughs> small, small groups, about three to four, usually. Of what? When, they're, when the Bengal tigers do travel in packs, it's only three to four. The small groups. Yeah. Cool. Kelsey. How long do they live? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they live It's a good question. Was it wasn't my baby. Don't they live for a long time? I, I think they're, no, I, I think they're, I want to say like 20 years is roughly how long they live. Tapers was the 30. That's not a long time. I to say that. <laughs> they don't even have to live. All right, real quick, anything else uh, that you guys want to no let idea. us know about? They're like, They're really good swimmers. Yeah. Like carnivores. They can <laughs> swim for a long time. Yeah. They so use like the they can go underwater and then come back up and eat you. Okay. And, and they, they usually only attack prey. That is well that's their most that's like the most usual thing that they attack is when a prey is drinking water. They usually like come up behind it and eat their face off. What's the one thing they eat the most? Um, Tape beer. They are not, and they can drag, they're so strong that they can drag their prey about 1,500 feet. I don't know about 1,500 feet. 
Oh, you mean just drag it along the ground? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, not actually. Can. I was thinking of. They're nocturnal, you said? Yeah, they're nocturnal, and they just, they usually go out during the night when they're, like, all the way sleeping. Hmm. Look, they're kind of like leopards. They, like, drag their prey up in trees. I don't know if tigers really do that or not. I don't know if they're nocturnal or not. I thought they were diurnal, but I'm not sure. Don't know what that means. Oh. It means they're, they're awake during the day. If you look at all the pictures of them, they're all in the day. It's like they're gay. It's all daytime. But I don't know. I didn't, I didn't check into that. Okay. Good. Anybody else? All right, guys. Give me a hand. Yeah.